Alexa, camera. Okay. guys and welcome to another quick video and you might be wondering what all this mess is here well let's get into it so i just taken delivery of my Yi dome camera it's a 720p dome camera with pan to tilt and zoom and you can get a 1080p version as well the 720p version is fine for me because i was using the digu cameras before the digu bbm1 but software and wi-fi connection everything else is just pants even on the new version so I decided to go for a slight upgrade. It was Amazon Prime Day, and I managed to pick up the 720p version of this for uh, 22 pounds. And I bought two of them to replace the Digus. Now, um, this camera, I'll tell you a little bit about it, but you've probably seen it online anyway on YouTube. 720p uh, pan, tilt and zoom. It has SD card storage, but you can also subscribe to the uh, cloud storage. I'm not going to subscribe to the cloud. I will just take the, the free seven second clip, um, which they give you. Um, most of my stuff is just going to go on SD card. Um, that's about it, really. The application itself is absolutely amazing. It's it's just a really good quality camera. What you'd expect from Yi, really, to be honest. Now, if you looked at, if you watch my videos, you might have seen the other day when I uploaded a video uh, how to control your Android TV with your voice. Uh, so that's what this one's about. I downloaded the Yee Home app to my Android tablet, extracted the APK, sideloaded it to the television and set it all up and now I can access my camera with my voice. One thing I'm going to tell you about that is sometimes when you sideload applications the formatting doesn't work correctly. You can get apps that will force it to switch but I'm not going to bother with that. I just show you an easy way. The Ouya controller. Currently £5 on, at, at game. Um, it's a Bluetooth controller for the failed uh, Ouya uh, games console, but the controller is absolutely amazing. Very good quality. It works well with my emulators, but the, the best thing I like about this is that this whole part here is like a touchpad. So when you got it connected to your television or Android device, you touch this, a pointer appears on your screen, and it's just, um, it's just amazing the way it works. Let me show you quickly. So can you see the pointer there? And it's in the middle, and that's me just controlling it with the uh, with the with the Ouya controller. So these are really good for gaming, a retro gaming, and for using a mouse. And so it's easy to set up uh, uh, applications with one of these because the controller sometimes it doesn't hit every button. Anyway, the point of this video is opening your uh, um, cameras with your voice. So you've got alert set up on your phone. You get an alert on your phone, and you're watching TV. Then you can just say something like Alexa, camera. Okay. Last thing I've got to say is if you don't understand how this works, you well, you really should because if you watch my video about the Alberto Sonoris app, you'll know how it works. But if you have any other questions, just give me a shout um, and I will speak to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.